hello so today i'm gonna be doing this uh coconut tomato sauce recipe that i found online i wrote it down really quick it's actually really really easy it's got seven or eight ingredients and uh, it's gonna take like 10 minutes probably maybe less so i'm gonna round up the ingredients and get started it asks for three cloves of garlic what i'm gonna do is i'm probably going to make this into a sauce that can be eaten with a spaghetti squash that i'll make later or that i think matt said he wanted to make today and then i have ground beef um defrosting right now so yeah i actually only have two cloves of garlic but they're pretty big so i have the cloves of garlic i need tomato sauce and coconut milk which i believe i have and tomato paste so i have coconut milk and tomato paste paprika and oregano of course salt and pepper but also nutritional yeast also lemon juice but we don't have lemons so yeah That's pretty much the only thing I need to prep as far as cutting, which is really nice. So it actually says to use coconut oil. So it says to saute the garlic with the pepper for about a minute first. So that is what I shall do because I will listen to instructions. I actually don't have black pepper. So I'm gonna be using this uh, mixed peppercorn. And I'm gonna turn the heat down. It smells really good already. So now I'm gonna take my can of coconut milk. Throw it in a bag. Take the tomato paste. And that's not gonna work. All right, so now we are literally cooking. I think we have a visitor coming. Ray Ray. Hi. Hi, cutie. Hi. What's up? Yeah, I'm cooking. You can't have it though. I'll give you some watermelon later. Okay. Have oregano. These are all supposed to be teaspoons, by the way, so that should be good. And then a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, so that's gonna be more, should be about that. And uh, that's about it. That's literally it. I'm gonna turn the heat down a bit. Oh, and we're gonna just splash everywhere, cool. Now that there's tomato sauce all over my camera, as well as some garlic. I'm going to add some salt. I'll turn this the fuck down because it won't stop bubbling. I'm gonna add some sea salt. I eat pretty low salt, which is definitely my downfall when I'm cooking for other people, obviously. When it's just me, I think it's fine, probably. It smells really good. Let me do some more salt. Because whenever I'm cooking for other people, I'll do however much salt I would eat, and then I add a bunch more. I'm also gonna add more oregano. It's looking good. 
Smells good. Tastes really good. Tastes very, very good. And this is what it looks like. Bum, 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 bum. It honestly, it just looks like tomato sauce with uh, coconut, which is what it is. That's all it is. Here's the aftermath. The recipe, the aftermath, and the two measuring spoons I didn't even use. Perfect. That was really good. I will share later an update um, after the spaghetti squash is made. Okay, that's about it. Bye. And then we have this super dope coconut red sauce that Char made. It's like so creamy, it tastes cheesy. It's so fucking good. Pepper, oh, salt. Both. Why do you add salt? Because Shara doesn't believe in it. <laughs> I'm anti salt. But I am salty. Yeah, you save all the salt for your conversations. <laughs> Alright, let's do a taste test. As you can see from the clips, Matt really enjoyed the sauce and just everything put together. He actually said that it was my best sauce ever, which to me was wild because it was so easy to make. So I'll definitely link the recipe that I used down below. I actually did not get to try it yesterday. Um, so here it is. I'm eating it without the ground beef. I'm just eating the spaghetti squash with the sauce. Come here. Oh no, don't do it. Okay, let's see. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It is so good. It's so creamy, like he said. It is. It's definitely, it kind of tastes like a vodka sauce, okay? It kind of tastes like a, a vodka sauce, but it's literally just tomato and coconut milk. <laughs> no, bro. I'm for sure gonna make this once a week, at least. And thinking about this with actual pasta, ooh, should be good. Anyway, I'm gonna continue eating this. I'm trying to get him off my dick. Goodbye.